public and private IP addresses. So let's start talking about this. So public and private IP addresses. There's a main difference between what's a public, what's a private. How do I know what kind of a, what IP address is a private, what IP address is a public? So before I get to that point, before I teach you how do you understand, how do you identify if this IP address is a private or that IP address is a public, let's check how how we can get public IP addresses and how the public IP addresses work. So first of all, if you want to get one IP address, you should talk first of all with this institution in here, IANA, which is the Internet Assigned Number Authority. This authority, this, this institution, it's responsible for coordinating some of the key elements that keep the internet running. So for example, uh, DNS, it manages the DNS route, it manages also the global pool of IP and autonomous system number and distributes that by regional and also the protocol assignments. So for example, uh, IANA keeps the, the, the protocol assignments and uh, manage that as well. So what IANA does? IANA just sends the pool of IP addresses for another institutions, the most well-known institutions that IANA sends. It's, for example, Afriknik. And uh, let's say, let's say RIP. And also LACNIC. These institutions, they looking forward for the the sorry the ISPs of each one of these regions. For example, let's say let's say RIP. RIP gives IP address for the first telecom in here, the ISP one, and this ISP one can sell the public IP addresses for the customer, the client, for example can sell this, this, this range of IP address of clients. So how do I know, how do I, how do I make sure this client never gets the same IP address of, let's say another ISP in here, ISP2, this client never gets the same IP address of the other client in another ISP. That's the point where IANA came. The IANA has the full range of all of the IP address, the public IP address, and distributes that IP address basic, sorry, based on regions. So for example, the LACNIC gets the IP address it starts on 200. The AFRICNIC gets the IP address it starts on 23 and something. So if the LACNIC gets the 200 and gets the 187 as well, the LACNIC will pass the 200 for this ISP and uh, for the other ISP, let's say ISP3 in here, she get, uh, sorry, the, the institution, uh, it gets the pass the IP address 187 and so on and so forth. So the client will never get the same IP address because this institution in here uh, manage these, these advertisements manage these blocks of IP address and these networks as well. So if you want to get some, if you want to get one IP address, one public IP address, you should talk first with your ISP, which is going to take from this institution, and this institution is going to take from IANA. So that's how uh, how public IP addresses are released. But what kind of public IP address? How do I know if my IP is a public IP address? It's really, really simple. It's better, the better way to understand that is showing you what's the private IP address and uh, any IP address with out, which is out of that range, the private address, the private IP address range, it's going to be public IP address. So let's write down the private ones. So let's go in here and take the privates. So the privates. So the first range for the private IP address it starts on 10, which is the 10.0.0.0, and goes up to 
0.255. This one is the same as a slash 8 as a prefix. We're going to talk about this later on, on the next videos, but this is a prefix length. This is a prefix. So if you see any IP address starting on 10.0.0.0 and ends on 10.255.255.255, so any IP address that fits into this range, you can guarantee that's a private IP address. The second range starts in 172.16.0.0 and goes up to 172.16. Sorry, 172.16. Up. No. 172.31.255.255. Almost make a mistake in here. And uh, this is uh, is slash 12. The prefix length is 12. So any IP address inside of this range, 172.16 up to 172.31, it's IP address for a private IP address for sure. The third and the last range, it's the 192.168.0.0 up to 192.168.255.255 and this one can be represented by slash 16 prefix length. So any IP address inside of this range, it's a private IP address. So really, really easy to remember the private IP address. If you're looking for the CCNA certification, probably you will get, let's say, two up to three questions related to a private and public IP address. So you should remember that when you go into the exam, make down your notes when you are inside of the, the test center, Bringing notes from outside to inside of your test, inside of the test center, it's not allowed against the law, so you you can never do it there. You're cheating if if you're doing that. But when you got inside of the test room, you can you can make your notes. The first thing I'm I'm telling you, the first thing I'm 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 explaining to you and uh, I'm devising uh, devising you is to write down the private IP addresses. Okay, so write down this range so when you get a question, you can in 10 seconds easily answer the question related to private and public IP address. So outside in here, all of the IP address outside are public IP address. Our next session. We're going to start the conversion. Eh? We're going to convert from decimal to binary. So I will see you on the next video.